welcome to Lincoln Tech. My name is Mike Phelps. It's been my honor to be the Director of Emissions for over 30 years. Today I'm going to walk you through our diesel technology program. This program goes for 15 months, five days a week, five hours a day. We cover everything from engines, drivetrains, hydraulics, welding, everything that goes in accordance with diesel today, plus an element of gas. I'm Mr. LaBelle, one of the diesel instructors here at, East, at Lincoln Tech East Windsor, Connecticut. Today, we're going to be installing a sleeve into this uh, engine block. So it's going to be a science lesson and a little uh, video on what we can do here and what you're going to learn when you come to Lincoln Tech in the diesel program. So I've already pulled cylinder sleeve number three out. Now I've got this sitting in a freezer right now, okay? Now you're going to ask, why do I have it sitting in the freezer? Well, if I was to try and put this sleeve in with it being room temperature, the same temperature as the block, it's going to give me such a hard time to go in. I'm going to have to beat the living daylights in it to get it set down in here. And then I risk ruining the block or I risk ruining the sleeve itself. Okay, so what happens is with it being in the freezer, the cold actually makes the sleeve shrink down. Okay, so I may have to beat on it a little bit, but it's going to be nowhere near as hard as if I didn't chill it first. Now, people have done dry ice, liquid nitrogen. Those are great. They work a whole lot better, but they're a lot harder to come by. You got a big freezer, stuff it in there overnight before you go ahead and put it in, and uh, it's going to help your life a whole lot easier. So give me a few minutes and then we'll come back when I get the sleeve and ready to put in and uh, we'll show you how it goes. So we're back. I got the uh, sleeve out of the freezer. I've kept it in a cooler because remember, you don't have a lot of time in order to get this done once it's frozen. So we're gonna go ahead, take it out. Now I packed it full of ice because, hey, you never know. Okay, so here we go. Nice frozen sleeve. So we got to have to tap it in. And there you have it. The sleeve is seated all the way into the uh, engine block now. Now if I had not frozen that, I would still be beating on that for probably a good 20 minutes. That's how tight that seal is, okay? So, now once you get it in there, just let it warm up and it'll compress itself and it'll be seated. You're all set. Now, I talked to you about the cold. Heat does the complete opposite thing. You have a rusted nut, rusted bolt, whatever that sees on, Heat it up with your torch, nice and cherry red, it'll spin right off. You'll learn that and more if you come on over to Lincoln Tech. Today's diesel engines, 90% you're looking at electronically controlled. That means you'll be very well fitted with a computer. Okay? Today's technology, it takes training, it takes guys like Dan training you guys and getting you ready for the industry. We look forward to seeing you. I'm Travis Cox, a uh, recent graduate from Lincoln Tech in East Windsor. Uh, came to Lincoln Tech because I got out of the Navy and went through a couple small jobs. Didn't really work out, uh, kept bouncing and bouncing and decided to go to school. Well, here I am a year and a half, almost two years later, uh, 15 months of school and working for FedEx Freight. Uh, originally from Kansas. Uh, Bounced around with the Navy, went to South Carolina for six months, Virginia for six years, and was here in Connecticut for about two and a half years. Fifteen minutes after I had sent in the application for information for Lincoln Tech, they called me. And a week later, I was in school, ready to go, and <laughs> it was really fast. The expedience with which they replied, uh, the willingness to help, uh, the want to have me here as well. Uh, it was also big because they were uh, big on their veterans, always have been, is to my knowledge. 
and they've made that very apparent with everything that they've done since I, from the time of me getting here to the time of me graduating. Lincoln Tech gave me the knowledge that led me towards being able to work for my career. It gave me the, the cutting edge uh, of being able to step into that industry and saying, hey look, this is what I know, this is what I can do, and this brought me to my, my current career. They've helped me with the GI Bill. Uh, I was new to it, uh, knew that it existed, had never used it before, and uh, the financial, uh, financial services was great. They, they started me off, um, they made everything smooth and kept it easy. Services. Career services was great. They, they had multiple presentations throughout the year, or throughout my time here, uh, all 15 months, uh, multiple career fairs, and uh, I actually got to help with the last one, but uh, the uh, career services showed me the different places that I could go, and my current job with FedEx Freight was one of the presentations that came in, and uh, I, I couldn't thank them enough, honestly. Other vets, I would say, don't wait. If you have the want to learn, come here. If you, have, if, you want to, if you want to do diesel, collision, automotive, electrical, any program they have here, even CNC, HVAC, you name it, Lincoln's got it.